we're here with one of our coaches, David McKay, who's going to help us with our midfield review today. Um, D-Mac, let's start from the top and we'll go with Harry Morrison. How did you rate his season in brown and gold? Yeah, look, Harry had an interesting year. He, um, he had some challenges this year in terms of, um, you know, he would have liked to have played more games, but I think the way Harry finished the year, particularly uh, in our finals campaign, um, was outstanding. So he, yeah, at times frustration for Harry, but, um, you know, certainly towards the end of the year, he showed some great signs playing on that wing and, and a little bit of time half back as well. Jai Newcomb had another excellent year in the midfield. What did you make of it? Yeah, Jai had an, another outstanding year, um, you know, particularly in the second half of the year. Uh, you know, he's work inside the contest around stoppage um, and then used his weapons to sort of get out and, and use the ball really well as well. So Jai had a fantastic year and um, you know, certainly built on um, his year uh, in 2023. Um, another one that had a fantastic year was James Warple. What did you make of it? Yeah, Warps was you know, really solid again this year. and. Um, you yeah, know, had a great, con a great year around the contest, um, around stoppage, and um, yeah, we just love the intensity that um, Warps brings in offense and defense. You know, particularly you know, in tight around the contest, and um, probably the one thing he did add this year, which was fantastic, was his execution, particularly going inside 50. He really hurt opposition. Um, Ned Reeves, what did you make of his year? Yeah, Ned had a really challenging year. Um, you know, physically. Yeah, you know, didn't get the continuity that he would have liked. Um, you know, a bit interrupted early in the year, and then um, had issues with you know with his back later in, in the year, which um, you know affected his ability to, to get back into the side and, and play the, the level of footy that we know Ned can play at. So he'd be looking to you know bounce back, get physically ready to go, and and um, you know get back up into that ruck spot. Another one who probably had a bit of a challenging year was Chankoth Jeff. It was good to see him get out of the park, but um, yeah, what did you make of his season? Yeah, look, I think it was a really good learning year for CJ and, um, you know, he learned a lot of physically about what, what he needs to do to keep himself on the park. And I think he played 11 games in a row one, at one stage, which was, um, you know, to give him a lot of confidence going into next year that, um, you know, when he can get himself right physically, he can, um, you know, be a key player for us. And you know, we really love what CJ brings to the team and um, looking forward to seeing more of it. Great to see Connor Nash continue to showcase his versatility, I thought, in 2024. What did you make of his year? Yeah, Connor was really solid again this year and, um, you know, playing a variety of different roles in that midfield. So, you know, obviously spent some time in, in the ruck and on, you know, on, on opposition good players and roles in that sense. So, yeah, he, his flexibility in there um, and his willingness to do whatever the team required is really critical for us and, um, you know, he had another really solid year. Another one who had a solid year was Will Day. Um, what did you think of his season? Yeah, look, I thought, um, you know, obviously some frustration for Daisy at the start of the year with his foot and then um, at the back end of the year as well. But in between that, you know, he played some exceptional footy and, um, you know, really showcased his ability and, um, and highlighted how important he is to us. And, um, you know, looking forward to seeing more of that. And, um, but yeah, he, in terms of Will Day, um, you know, the leader as well, like um, really stood up in key moments for us throughout the year and, and led the way. So, um, yeah, Daisy's footy, the, play, the footy he played this year was exceptional and looking forward to seeing more of it. Massimo D'Ambrosio was another one that was um, had a really successful year, named in the All-Australian squad in his first season in brown and gold. How did you see it? Oh, look, Mass was outstanding this year and um, you know, he, the, the work that he's put in to his game and, and um, I guess the improvement that he made across the year was, um, was first class and, you know, he got recognised and, and duly so. Um, but, yeah, his ability to sort of play on that wing, in, on the wing and um, impact the contest and, and then also um, hurt the opposition with his ball use um, were features of Massa's game and, um, yeah, it was really rapt to see him uh, make the progression he did. Another big improver was Lloyd Beek in the ruck. Um, how did you see his season? Yeah, look, Meeky was was exceptional. Um, you know, he's been working really hard over the, you know since he arrived at Hawthorne to to um, you know cement that spot. And I think um, you know we saw sort of the fruits of his labour. And yeah, I think he added a level of predictability to our midfield. And um, you know, works really hard um, during the week to to get the best out of himself. And we sort of saw the the benefit of that, um, you know, his work in the contest, his work around stoppage um, was, you know, gave our midfielders great opportunity to to excel at that part of the game. So, yeah, Miki was a great success story for the year. 
Josh Ward, obviously, uh, knocking on the door for a number of weeks in the VFL. He got his chance, you know, in the finals of, of all things as well. Um, how did you sort of see his season? Yeah, like Josh probably had a, a no, another year where um, he would have learned a lot and, um, you know, at times frustrated. We wanted to play more, more senior games, but, um, you know, we saw um, the growth in Josh, um, not only going back and playing sort of midfield through the VFL, but, you know, we see him in the, the final series, particularly against the Bulldogs, in the, the weapons that he brings and around the ball and, and the progression that he made throughout the year, even though it wasn't evident um, all the time at AFL level. But, yeah, Josh is really exciting. Um, he's got a great work ethic and we're pretty excited to see where that can take him. Cam McKenzie had a pretty consistent season. Of course, it came to an unfortunate end with that hamstring injury. Um, how did you see his season? Yeah, look, Cam had another really good year for a, a, such a young player. Yeah, you know, he made great progression um, playing a couple of different roles, whether it be wing or midfield. Um, you know, Cam's got some great attributes and great weapons that um, we're starting to see more and more of. Um, and it's just about for him building consistency, becoming comfortable, even more comfortable at the level. And I think we're seeing that as, as he goes on. And um, like you know, a lot of our young Miz, we're pretty excited to see what Cam can do going forward. Finn McGuinness was a bit like Wardy in the sense that he had to uh, sort of bide his time in the VFL and wait for his opportunity at AFL level. How did you see his season? Yeah, look, we were wrapped with Finn's season. Um, you know, his flexibility and I guess the different roles that he can play as coaches gives us great options for for every game and um, you know, Finn, um, I guess the thing he did add to his game this year was um, that capacity um, to, to play different roles, so play forward, play wing um, and he saw it, you know, particularly in the final series, um, you know, his performance was was really strong, um, which, you know, holds him in really good stead and, um, you know, we thought we saw a lot of progression from Finn, so yeah, really happy with him. And lastly, Henry Husway, another season of development for him. Um, how did you rate it? Yeah, look, I think, yeah, Huss made some big inroads as well this year. And, um, you yeah, know, his pre-season coming into the season was outstanding and gave himself a chance early in the year. And then I guess the form of our midfield across the year made it hard for, for Henry to break in. Um, but, you know, we saw a lot of growth in the VFL. Um, you know, he's a, he's a great stoppage player. He's got elite hands. So, um, that's something that you know we're pretty excited to see where that can take him and, and if he can push up into that midfield bracket early next year.